Hello, my name is Artem Moskalev. I'm a PhD student in University of Amsterdam. I will present our joint work, Scale Equivariance Improved CMEs Tracking. As the title suggests, our work is based on two cornerstones, equivariance and CMEs Tracking. CMEs Tracking turns tracking into a similarity estimation between a template and the candidate regions. When the similarity function is powerful, the tracking is robust and accurate. Another cornerstone is equivariance, and in particular, translation equivariance. That is to say, the translation of an input image results in a corresponding translation of produced feature maps. Translation equivariance is an essential ingredient for CMS tracking, because it allows to share the same similarity function across all image. In other words, similarity is only affected by the constants of the image, not location. Broken translation equivariance results in location bias, which makes an accurate tracking challenging. So, why do we focus on translation equivariance exclusively? First of all, translation is a key transformation when estimating the position of the object, and equivariance provides a natural mechanism to handle transformations. In real-life scenarios, however, object undergoes other transformations, like scaling, rotation, or illumination change. Unless the network has an internal mechanism to handle them, the similarity may degrade. In this work, we focus on scaling, and argue that, analogous to translation equivariance, the lack of scale equivariance causes scale bias when estimating the similarities and thus makes tracking challenging. Before going into details of our approach, let's clarify what do we mean by scale bias. Consider two semis trackers, a standard one on the left and its scale equivariant extension. If two objects appear on different scales, it's challenging for a standard tracker to explicitly compare their features the tracker in such a setup will most likely be biased towards objects of one size. Scale equivariant tracker, on the other hand, can effectively model interscale similarities, and thus is not biased towards a specific size of the object. We now briefly discuss how we build scale equivariant extension of popular CMFC tracker. CMFC produces a heat map of possible locations by cross-correlating features of a template and a frame. CMFC is translation, but not scale equivariance. To build scale equivariance MFC, we follow a simple recipe provided in our paper. In short, we equip a tracker with a scale equivariant backbone and connection. We show that the model constructed like this satisfies equivariance properties, and the whole tracker is scale equivariance. We also note that such recipe is generic and applicable to the wide range of semis trackers. Please refer to our paper for more details. To evaluate the benefits of scale equivariance, we construct two toy datasets with isolated factors of variation, namely translated NIST and scaling NIST. We follow two by two testing protocol. The model is separately trained on either translated or scaling NIST and then is subsequently tested on both. On these toy datasets, scale equivariance MFC outperforms its conventional counterpart in all scenarios. We analyze tracking results on the toy data to investigate the sources of performance gain. The results on scaling NIST suggest that the scale equivariant model has a superior ability to precisely follow the change of target size. The experiment on translated NIST show that our model robustly preserves the size of the object when it stays constant, which is a task that the baseline struggles with. Next, we conduct benchmark experiments to compare the scale equivariant tracker with other popular CMS architectures. In this work, we built on top of the recently introduced CMFC+. As we can see, making the tracker scale equivariant bring 3% increase on OTB and more than 17% boost in expected average overlap on VOT benchmarks. That indicates the benefit of scale equivariance in visual object tracking. We also investigate the performance of the scale equivariant model against the baseline on various factors of variations on OTB. Our scale equivariant tracker outperforms the baseline on a whole range of sequences, even on those ones where no measure scaling occurs. We attribute it to the fact that scale is an essential property of every image, which may be present implicitly on a pattern level. Our scale equivariant tracker can effectively exploit this symmetry. To sum up, we propose a recipe to make semis tracker scale equivariant. We propose scale equivariant extensions of two popular semis trackers and demonstrate that scale equivariance improves semis tracking. That's the end of my presentation. Thanks, check out our paper and stay tuned for our code.